Hi guys, it's Numa Stacker here and I've got a very special video for you today and I've dedicated this one to our own, our very own Frank P. Numa's Metals and um, this is a different type of rarity today and I was very lucky to pick this up, really you know, sometimes just spot things, this particular one was um, was listed on the German eBay and it's nice when it happens um, and you never really know 100% for sure how good your find is until after NGC has finished grading it and it won't be for, well, I mean probably they're taking their time so uh, it could be anything up to two months before NGC have finished with it but this particular coin um, as soon as I saw it, I realised that it was something quite special. Um, looked it up, and uh, for those of you who follow these things, this is a quarter dollar, a quarter of a gold dollar, minted in San Francisco in 1866. So it's quite an early uh, California fractional. And you've seen these on my channel before. This is the third one that I've picked up and found. Uh, I found they all have a BG number, so uh, I found a BG 109 and a BG 924. Uh, the 109 was um, a really nice find. There are only 50 109s estimated to survive, and this is a BG 708, quarter dollar. Um, incidentally, if you're looking for these things on eBay and you see ones with a bear on the back of them. They are not made of gold, and they're just kind of tokens, and they're worth absolutely zero. So don't even be suckered into paying ten bucks for them. They are a total waste of time. There were no real ones with a California bear on them. But this particular one looks to be in pretty good condition. Um, I'm not very good at grading these things, but judging by some of the ones I've sent before, this could be a 62, 63, 64. Um, they're measured slightly differently, I think, by NGC because they were less finished and perfect even when they were brand new. So maybe they're kind of graded a little bit uh, with a bit more leniency, I don't know. But um, they are absolutely tiny, minuscule coins. And how these things have survived at all like this from 1866 is totally and utterly beyond me. I almost lost it just having it in my hand to take the video. Um, I mean truly it is a miracle that these things were kept and treasured for all of those years and, uh, and are now available uh, very 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 occasionally to pick up. So uh, you can see here this one is a uh, the one that's on the PCGS website. This is an example of, I think, an MS-63 Plus that was found. Um, I don't know whether mine's as good as this. It probably isn't. But um, So the BG-708, you can find the information on these in PCGS Coin Facts. And, uh, I mean, it really is a very interesting little pickup. And you can see here they do a survival estimate and they show 90 coins estimated to survive. And then underneath that on the screen, you'll see their rarity index. And, uh, you know, this one has a rarity index of 8.1, which makes it a truly exceptionally rare coin. Um, and I just love it. I can't wait to get it to NGC. Can't wait to get it graded, see what it gets, and for it to join the other three California fractionals that I have in my collection at the moment. Um, you know, it's got such a lovely golden colour, looks to be in lovely condition. Um, I just really like it. I mean these things were produced um, by small jewellers firms. Uh, I haven't researched the background to this one but the BG109 uh, that I found was produced by a particular French jeweller in San Francisco just after the Civil War. Um, it's just, they're just it's just a total and utter marvel. These aren't the favourites with stackers because they don't have very much gold value. Uh, I don't even know what the purity of the gold that makes up these kind of coins is. They were actually made from the um, the gold dust 
that was brought in and traded in jewellery shops, they melted the gold dust down and they made these tiny fractional coins uh, and then eventually the process was, uh, was outlawed by the American government. So let me know what you think of the California fractional BG708. Thanks very much for watching guys.